Hey friends and fellow gamers, if you're looking for an automation game like Factorio but 3D and without constant enemy attacks unfortunately but everything else is absolutely fantastic in this game, you're looking at Satisfactory. I hope you guys join us here in our journey here in this game. I played this game here several years ago, I played the crap out of it and I really enjoyed it and I just haven't been able to get back to it uh, but now that I'm transitioning to a multi-game channel it is the perfect time to dive right into Satisfactory again and make some crazy automation stations. I'm really excited about it, guys. Don't mind my nerdiness. All right, so we got to go get ahead, get our stuff going. I chose to go with the onboarding stuff this time around because it has been a little while since I've played, so there might be a few things that have changed. So it's first going to ask us here to find some ore nodes, most specifically iron ore nodes here. Uh, what I'm doing is also gathering wood we can use as biofuel. So we're going to press V to do that. Here we go. We're going to hold V, actually. So we select iron ore. There we go. And now we should be able to press V again and ping multiple times. Uh, so if we look up at our compass here, we got one 385 meters away. And uh, the other ones here are a little distance. So what we'll do is we'll work our way over towards this iron node over here. Uh, oh, it looks like we got a node right there. I actually forget what this stuff is called, but you use it to make concrete mix. So uh, let's go and take a quick look at that. This is limestone. There we go. Makes sense. Ah, there we go. So I press the ping and I can actually see there's two of them right here. So one right there, you can see the little circles if they're close enough, uh, pinging off of the ground. So first of all, what we got to do is go ahead and uh, collect ourselves some resources here. I'm going to collect uh, just this top part. Whoa. Whoa, where? Whoa. Oh, these are the new enemies, guys. Now these things, they spawn in, but you have to destroy this thing here. If you don't destroy that thing, there we go, let's pick those up. Talking over top of these. Oh, shut up, Ada. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, if you don't destroy these things, they keep spawning those things. They're a little easier to kill. As you can see, they don't bounce away and roll away anymore, which is really, really cool. I like that change, very much so. There we go. So we got this note clear. We can gather from this uh, pretty damn soon, but I'm also going to go and clear this little bit of a lump off this one too. There we go. So next we have to build our hub. I disassembled the pod we came down in. Uh, so what we got to do is actually place this thing. So if we press Q, we bring up our build menu. We can see our hub is available in there. And I'm going to place it somewhere over here. This thing's going to move anyway, so it doesn't really matter at all. There we go. Give her a little bit of a rotate with the middle mouse button and bam! Plop her right down on the ground. Okay, so what we got to do is actually upgrade this thing. We got to go through and do a whole bunch of steps. So what we got to do here is complete hub upgrade one. If we take a look here, this is our crafting bench. We can make ourselves some iron ingots. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually hold my mouse button down here for about a minute. This is how long it's going to take. You really, really don't want to make things manually in Satisfactory. As soon as you can automate stuff, guys, 100% do it. So we got those done. Let's go to our hub terminal and see what it has for us here. We're on tier zero. We go to the hub upgrade one. We got equipment workshop, portable miner, and inventory slots as a reward. Uh, for the milestone, we actually have to have 10 rods and then we put them up in here. So in order to make those rods, you do those by hand right here. Just hold it down, wait for 10. There we go, those are quite quick to make, not too hard. Then I'm going to uh, shift click those into there, or you can drag them into there if you wish. And upgrade that hub, there we go. Now as you can tell, it gave us a frame. Those, uh, we carried all this in our pocket. It is magic. And now, we have a have personal unlocked. storage container. Building, and workshop, I'm going to throw a equipment, few things into there. Minor, inventory. Next we got hub upgrade 2. What this unlocks is some of our automation stuff which is real exciting. Our smelter, power line, copper ingots, wires, and cables. Which is pretty damn cool. So for that we're going to need 20 iron rods and we're going to need 10 iron plates. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and use that. Okay, there we go. So we got what we need here. We got 10 iron plates and 20 iron rods. We're going to go ahead, 
upgrade that hub and as you can see we now have some plating some basics going on not too much but we can go a little further you with this i'm gonna go ahead and advice. uh skip through her stuff here because it takes forever to listen to that So let's go and select our hub upgrade three here. This unlocks a constructor, power poles, concrete, all of that lovely stuff. But in order to do that, we're going to need ourselves some copper wires. So we need to select copper here. It's unlocked copper ore for us in our pinger. And uh, give it a quick ping. Okay, we got one 198 meters over this way. Ah, here we go. So I'm going to press and hold E and pick up as much copper as I can get for this. Now, if you guys do need more resources like copper ore or iron ore, uh, just walk up to this and hold E. Uh, I do believe it is not as fast and as efficient as getting that first little lump that's sitting on top of it. Uh, but it will give you a little more. So I'm going to grab myself about 100 of this and then head back. One thing I like to do here early game, as I'm running back and forth to nodes and doing all that kind of stuff, uh, I, I, I press E button. You can't hold it because it doesn't work. So what I do is I just uh, give her a little bit of a spam and pick up all the plant matter I can get because this is where all of your power is going to come from uh, initially. Okay, so now what we need to do is make ourselves a whole bunch of copper ingots and then make some copper wires. Okay, so I've got together the uh, copper wire that we need here and a whole uh, bunch of ingots, but we don't have the iron we need to make all of the materials. We can only make eight iron rods or four plates. So I'm going to quickly make up some iron rods here and then head over uh, right behind this and just quickly farm up some iron for us. There, I finally have all of the items together here. It's starting to get a, a little dark, but that is... A okay, let's go ahead and uh, tab those into there. Perfect. So, or tab or shift click those into there. Upgrade our hub. That is upgrade three. Nice, nice. So, we're going to go upgrade four here. This is going to give us our conveyor belts, inventory slots, conveyor poles. Let's go ahead, select that milestone. In order to do that, we're going to need concrete, we're going to need cables, and we're going to need iron plates. So, before we reach that step, we are going to have to do some automation here, guys, and get uh, a lot of automation done. So let's go in here and see. Oh, wait. No, here we go. Here we go. We got our first biomass burner. So this is what I was talking about with our leaves and our, our wood is we need to actually pump those into there. And I don't think we can build a biomass yet. No, we cannot. Uh, or a comp like a compacted biomass. So we have to throw everything in here manually. Just like that. So what we're going to do right away is build two iron um, iron smelter systems here. So we're going to build. Okay, so this threw me off just a little bit here. In our buildings, we have the constructor, we have the smelter, but we don't have the building to actually extract the ore from the ground. So... They uh, button hooked me, like I said last time. It's been a while since I've gone through this, so this is brand new to me. But we do have to make an equipment workshop. That way we can get at least a little bit of basic automation going. Here we go. One equipment workshop built. We're going to rotate that, I think, so it's kind of facing my build here. This thing can be torn down and rebuilt very easily, so it's really... Uh, no reason to be permanent about these things. Here we go. The portable miner. We're going to have to craft a few of these. We plop them down. They'll hold up to 100 ore and you don't have to sit there and bang the ore out yourself. So we just throw that into our hands here. There we go. Drop another one in there. You can throw as many as you want on these things. So we don't even need to do two uh, nodes. We can just do this one here. There we go. So since we only have access here to, of course, a constructor and a smelter, I'm going to build us a smelter and then a constructor here. So a good place for those. Uh, we're going to build the smelter here right away. We don't need anything going into it. And we got to build our... Oh, we got to make cables so we can actually run ourselves some power lines here. Let's get out of there. Open this. And for cables, you just need two wires. So you guys can see where this stuff starts to get a wee bit complex. So in order to open up my power line here, I'm going to press 2 on my menu, or on my tool belt here. Hook that up, and bam! We now have ourselves power. So we're going to go into our smelter, 
We're going to tell it we want iron ingots. There we are. And slap up to 100 there at a time. And it will hold up to 100 at a time. So now we don't need to do this by hand. It's quicker in the machine and saves us some time here. So uh, now what we want to build is uh, constructors. Here we go. Do we have enough? Nope. We need to make ourselves... Oh... I don't think I can make iron plates yet, so it's no constructor for us quite at this moment. Oh, we can make a reinforced iron plate. If I just opened up my menu, it would show it right here. So you need six iron plates, and you need to make yourself some screws. So I'm going to start getting some of this stuff together. Okay, so I have enough to build two constructors. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We'll get... Uh, these of course hooked up we can hook them up. I believe no nope, we can't hook them up to that one and We can't connect it to that one, but we can not make ourselves a power pole either Oh, this is gonna be tricky. I can only use one machine at a time at this moment So uh, we're kind of uh, jammed up here for what we're doing So I'm gonna pick up this miner there. We are I didn't have to pull out the ore and there was I do believe a node over this way of limestone I pointed out uh, on our way over here. So let's go ahead and hold V down. We're going to select limestone and there should be one nice and close. We need to go get some of that and make ourselves some concrete so we can make power poles and uh, get our hub upgrade four done. Ah, there it is right over there. I can see it right there and right in my crosshairs. There, I've got what I need, and I left my auto miner over there so we can go back and get some more when I do need it. So I gotta make myself up a bunch of concrete here. It takes a lot of this stuff in order to do that. So the other thing we need are plates too. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll grab the stack out of here. Perfect. And in order to... Um, oh wait, can we make a power pole now? Uh, yes, yes we can. I just need myself an actual rod. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Okay. I don't need to split up machines now. Here we go. Let's plop the power pole down. I'm going to put it right there. Uh, what we're going to do is actually uh, disconnect this by pressing F, pointing at the power line, and dismantling it. Uh, before, at uh, one point in time when I first started playing, guys, you couldn't even dismantle power lines. You actually had to dismantle the whole thing to get them to uh, unattach. Ah, uh, the good old days. Oh, no. I did it again. Okay, so what we need to do is go from this one here to the power pole, and then we have four connections from that one. So one, one to that one, and it still looks like we got, ooh, we only got one left, so we got to build another power pole, because then that one will connect to that one, and then this one has extra slots for that. Whew, lots of words. Okay, we need plates, guys. Lots and lots of plates. So I'm going to select plates in this constructor here and drop in some iron ingots which we should have a healthy amount of oh there we go perfect there we go like a whole stack of a hundred i'm gonna slide those right into there and that should make us uh, enough plates here hopefully soon to fill our order for hub upgrade four and i need to make myself 20 cables i'm gonna just do that by hand Okay, still waiting on some stuff here. So I got this one working too, so I just don't have to do it myself. It's making us uh, some wire, and this one here is making our iron plates for us. It shouldn't really take too long to get to 75, so I'm going to kind of tend to these machines, keep them going, and I'll see you once I got that all together. Okay, we finally have enough here to complete the next hub upgrade, so let's go to our hub terminal. Pop those items in just like that. We even we even have extras, which is pretty damn awesome. And bam, there we go. So we unlocked ourselves stuff like conveyor belts here. If we take a look, got more inventory slots. We got conveyor belts going on so we can connect machines. And now to get hub upgrade five, which unlocks our miner storage containers and even more inventory slots. We're going to need 75 iron rods. We're going to need ourselves some cables, which is not too big of a deal. And we already have the concrete. So let's go ahead, select that mission. I'm going to go and switch this machine over here, uh, making plates. There we go. Let's actually select our recipe. We're going to go to iron rod. And did it delete all of the... Oh, no. It looks like the plates actually landed in my inventory, which is good. And bam. There we go. Loader in. Should be good to go. I'm going to make sure it's nice and topped off over here. 
So while we're waiting to do that, I'm going to go and get myself some copper. I'm going to go steal myself one of these machines and head on over that way. It's a little bit of a journey, but by the time we get back, the iron rod should be close to finished. Okay, so we got some copper going on here. I'm actually going to go and switch this over to copper ingots. Load that up and it should get going. Now while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to spend some time here kind of going around, taking out all the local foliage here so we can a, see a lot better. I like to be able to see better, stupid nature. And we're going to turn nature into power, which is just ultimate. This is going to be so much fun. Guys, this is a way to destroy a planet in a video game, not in real life. I don't really condone that. I actually very much enjoy nature in its real aspect, but it is also fun to destroy it in satisfactory and turn it into giant factories. You know what I'm saying? It's the name of the game. Okay, there we go, stupid nature. We have uh, a few in there. Let's check this out then. We should have enough copper ingots in there. What we could do is get this one going here. We'll load it up with some more copper ingots. And I can go by hand while we're waiting and actually create the cables that we need. Okay, there we go. Everything is together. Real easy, kind of flying through the beginning stuff here. And that's not sliding over. There we go. I had to do it manually for some reason. And hub upgrade 5 is done, which means we don't need these damn things anymore. I can start automating our whole process. So you have uh, let's pick that up. Building miner mark one, tenth of so now if we press Q, we see our miners. We have a miner mark one. In order to build that, we're going to need some more concrete. So I'm going to head over and grab some more limestone. I'm going to set this machine here to make us concrete. That is so much better than making it by hand. I accidentally uh, split a few of those stacks. Let's fix that up. Okay, perfect. And this machine over here is making us some more iron rods. Actually, it is completely done. But we should have another full stack of copper in here. Beautiful. And we're going to switch this one back to iron. Okay. There we go. I think I got that all together. And in this one here, we are going to make ourselves some more wire with our copper. There. Perfect. Okay. So we can finally build our miner here. So let's go ahead and grab this and grab actually uh, the concrete that we need. Perfect. A little bit, a uh, little bit ahead of time there. Minor mark one, our first one. Uh, let's let's rotate this so that the output is actually. Uh, it's a little crowded. Let's let's make it go out this way. We can we can build out anywhere we want. Perfect, just like that, and hook it up. Nice. Okay, so we are now producing 120 iron ore per minute, which is absolutely wonderful. And we're going to need uh, new things like constructors. So I'm going to go and see if I can get some more, uh, uh, some more reinforced iron plates together. And we need some more cables, of course. Okay, so now that we are producing iron ore here, as you can see, this thing is full and it's not really doing anything at the moment. We want to put that iron ore directly into a smelter. Now, I do believe uh, snap to guidelines is left control. If you hold left control, it actually does a little bit of a snap for you and allows you to line stuff up nice and straight. So we should have, yes, we can make conveyor belts now. All they do take is... Uh, just your basic plates and there you go guys we have a system that is now being fed so I'm gonna grab a power line over here stuff is gonna be spaghetti for a little while once we get everything together and running we'll get into our big fancy builds guys which I do 100% plan on making I love this game for that you can make some crazy crazy builds okay so let's get out of that we're gonna go into our smelter and tell it to make iron ingots since that is what it is being fed and now we have iron ingots here being completely automated what is going on no power oh i may have actually ran out oh we got two. Oh, that's right guys we have two biomass burners now let's get that second one hooked up so we can actually produce more power oh that's what it was it was the fuse i blew the fuse we had too much stuff running on one thing so let's get these all nice and filled up and uh, let's turn that back on. There we go. 
Power that up, power that up, and we should have more than enough power to run what we have right now. So let's go ahead then and build our constructor. We're just going to place that, I think, in line. Actually, right after the smelter, I'm going to leave some space here so I can uh, put a junction in here at a later point and have it go off to another machine. We can split the output from it. But for now, we can go ahead straight into that bad boy there. And of course, we got to bring power to it too. So let's grab that power line and make, uh, I wish these things here had guidelines to them too. Uh, the power poles, that would be very nice. But for now, if I really wanted to be picky, oh, I can't afford this. Oh, that's right. Guys, I pulled a stupid here. We, we, we can fix this. I put all of those into here so let's go ahead and take that out we're gonna split that stack and i'm gonna put the uh the rest of this here into the machine okay perfect we're gonna have cables for days here okay that's all hooked up it's all powered now what we want to make i think mostly is iron plates because we need to make a lot uh a lot of um holy crap Conveyor belts, there we go. A lot of conveyor belts here over to our main area because I want to automate to our concrete, right? So next what we need to do is build ourselves another miner, but we also need to bring power and stuff all the way out there. Because uh, I don't believe we can actually build our own independent power yet. Let's take a look. Nope, just power line, power pole. I'm going to run to our hub here for a second. Oh, so we're not fully upgraded here with our hub upgrades. I thought we were done. Uh, but we do get biomass out of the deal. We get our biomass burner, so we can actually set up uh, just an independent power source over there and then bring them over much easier. And then the space elevator for when we go to build that. So you know what? I'm going to uh, slam the supplies that we do have ready into there. Oop, if I press the right buttons here, I'm separating them, not putting the supplies in. That's, that's a little silly. Okay, whatever. This, uh, this won't take long to get together. We have machines making all of that stuff for us right now. There we go. So I have our, all of the iron rods. Everything else is handed in that we need. Let's finish our hub upgrade here. That makes for a great episode from uh, starting the hub to finishing the hub all in one step. All right, there we go. And as you can see, there it is. Our little research ship is hopping on down, and it's going to connect to our um, our hub base here, which is pretty damn cool. So every time now, if we go to our hub terminal, we have access to the higher tiers of stuff. So we have to work our way up here. And of course, we have like basic base building stuff. This is the first thing we are actually going to be unlocking because foundations can help you keep everything nice and straight and even even with temporary buildings guys I like doing this spaghetti is so hard to tell uh, what is going on so as you can tell there's a whole bunch of different interesting stuff we can unlock this way uh, conveyor splitters that is going to be our next objective it kind of makes sense in the steps that you go right so uh, we're working all of our way up to tier two but yeah big exciting things guys seriously if you want to see more if you made it to the end of this video let me know down in the comments with uh, maybe a unique comment uh, let me know that you, you you know you've heard this but don't say it blatantly let me know you've heard this without saying you've heard this <laughs> there we go a little bit of a challenge for you guys but i would love to bring more gameplay to you and in order to do that guys we need to make sure the videos get out they get seen and uh if you want to watch it that it gets delivered to your uh to your youtube page or whatever you use uh, to view your subscriber page your youtube view page ra random recommendations however your viewer habits are anyways guys i'm enjoying this and on top of that guys i'm not even going to put ads in the middle of these videos here for satisfactory uh right at the beginning i do appreciate if you guys watch an ad or two it makes a huge difference but i'll, I'll promise you no video or no ads halfway through this video uh this is more fun for me now than it is work so welcome back to gaming skippy all right guys anyway i'm just gonna blabber on forever about this have a good one stay classy and always back up them game saves Do you want?